I have one yet, I just say my hair's getting a lot longer now, um, as you can tell it's getting quite long and, uh, and yeah, um, yeah, I don't know really, I think it's like, you know, I will be getting my hair cut at some point, but like I said, I like how amazing my hair is, how dark and amazing and long, thick, juicy, wavy, luscious hair I've got, and how I'm able to grow hair out at 27 like this, it looks incredible, lovely, dark, thick, luscious, juicy, wavy, black hairs, oh, incredible, like, like an ice cream, like you swish the ice cream around, and, and I'm amazing, I'm 27 years old, and here I am with a head full of amazing hair, there's a lot of guys my age probably wouldn't be able to grow their hair like this, you know, probably losing it, whatever, so I'm like my lucky stars, I've got such amazing, luscious, dark, wavy, amazing hair. So, um, yeah, I think it's best to make the most of what you got, um, because you know, use what you're biologically given, use what you know, use what, um, use what you've got and use it to your advantage. Hair is a sign of health. I think, um, I think people should take that seriously, you know, they should take seriously what they've got and be appreciative, you know. Um, I'm happy that um, I'm able to grow amazing hair, I just feel like a stand out, I feel like this sort of hairstyle stands out. Um, not even comparable really to say a, a short back and sides which you glance at once and it's just it's just nothing whereas the long amazing swishy hair that no guy seems to have this hairstyle it just feels incredible to show off and it always looks a bit non-binary slightly androgynous slightly feminine and I like the idea I can do that I like the idea I can show off a slightly non-binary sort of androgynous feminine look I, I like the idea of being able to do that and not being afraid to do that that's probably one of the main reasons there's no way every single guy with a, a Turkish favour a Turkish barber half bowl at the sides faded haircut there's no way they would say, oh, this, this hairstyle doesn't look as good. What it is, it's probably because it's too feminine. That's what it is, this amazing swishy, swishy longer hairstyle, which men used to have in the 70s. Guess what? It, it, it looks feminine. But I'm amazing, as I said, I haven't had my hair cut in eight months anyway, and I'm amazing. I'm so happy that I can grow out hair like this. I'm so happy that I can, yeah, I'm so happy that I'm not afraid to grow out my hair like this. I'm making the most of what I got, and I'm being happy with it, and being, you know, Flexible. I'm, I'm, I'm looking slightly different. I'm, I look completely different to when I had a, a you know, like, I think it was like a number two back and sides about eight months ago. When the last time I had a haircut, I, I looked like every other guy had a beard and a short hair looked really muscular. Now I'm, I'm suddenly looking quite feminine, and I love how I can change like that. I'm loving how I can make the most of, of I've got swishy hair. I'm loving how I can make the most of what I've got, and I'm making the most of it, and I'm being so proud about that, and it, it makes it feel incredible. So yeah, make the most of what you got. Be happy about it. Feel important. Feel special. Go out and. Have what no one else has got. Look like no other guy looks like. Go out and be the one on top of the pedestal. Be the one above everyone else. Be the one that makes you feel incredible. Go out and see every guy with a short haircut, every guy with a similar short haircut, or well, every guy with the same sort of length around the back and sides, because for some reason the hair has been shunned by the ears, about you know half an inch around the ears, or some around the ears, and even if they've got a fringe, the back and sides will be reasonably short, and it's always shunned by the ears. I have no idea why. It's just trends, just funny trends. And, um, but no, I feel like how this stands out by none, and I'm just so grateful that at 27 I've got a head full of amazing, luscious, thick, dark, juicy, wavy hair. I am so fucking happy. I would not be fine if I had a typical short back and sides with a big beard. I feel I have just trimmed my beard down actually. But I just feel yeah, it feels incredible. Go out and feel unique. Look slightly androgynous, slightly non binary, slightly feminine, and, and feel good about it. And feel good that you can change like this. Feel good you're not, you're not afraid to change. I think that's the key thing. People have got to not be afraid to sort of. To change and you know change for yourself really, you know not be afraid to change you know change for yourself change for the better, and um, be happy be proud about that do what you do what you want and yeah, I, I think it's incredible I think people have just got to make the most of it. <laughs>